Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today we're going to make a cute giftable treat pouch and we're gonna fill it with healthy goodies from our friends at Love With Food. They're an outfit that helps you discover new, organic, or all natural snacks delivered to your door starting at $10 a month. And for every box sold, they donate a meal to several food banks such as the Feeding America Network and share our strength so that no child goes hungry. Check out the link below and you can save $10 on any subscription or get your first box free. Speaking of free, I have this free pattern that you can download off of my blog and uh, all you need to do is print it onto some cardstock and then cut it out and this is going to be the basis of our treat box. It's a little french fry box and I think it's so cute. Now after you cut it out, you're going to want to score the fold lines which are marked on the pattern. So you want to make sure if you print it out on your printer that you have the uh, score lines or you make sure it prints on the wrong side of your paper if you are using a paper that is um, prettier on one side. I'm using a bone folder and a ruler to score my straight lines. You can use a butter knife if you don't have a bone folder. That'll work just fine. Or even an old dried out pen works great too. Just go over all of those lines and then on the bottom you're going to notice that the lines are curvy. So just freehand those lines. This will really help when it comes time to fold the box. After you've scored your lines, just gently fold along the lines to make sure everything looks like it's going to line up well. And then we're going to flip it over and do some stamping on the back side. I'm going to put this old folder on my work surface to protect it from ink. And I'm using a roller stamp with a pretty lace pattern to add a little texture to my box. I'm using avocado colored ink and just a regular ink pad there to ink up my roller stamp. And then I'm simply going to roll the pattern onto the box. Because it's so close to St. Patrick's Day, I decided to stamp a four leaf clover on the front of the box. I love stamps that look like pressed flowers and pressed leaves. I think I use a stamp every year. I think I can fit this three times across the front of my box to add a little bit of um, kind of seasonalness and texture. So that's what I'm gonna do. Another nice touch to add to any paper crafting project, if you have ink, is to ink the edges of your project. It just takes a few seconds just by rubbing the edge of the box with your ink pad. It gives it a really nice finished look and really covers up any mistakes that you may have made when you were cutting. Now we simply need to assemble the box. So here I am just pre-folding a little bit and looking at it to see how it's going to close up. Now notice you just want to overlap the sides of the box a little bit. If you overlap them all the way, it's going to make a really skinny box and it won't hold very many goodies and we want to put a lot of goodies in there. I'm using my hot glue gun just to run a very narrow bead of glue along one side and then I am simply putting the other flap on top of it and holding it gently until the glue sets. You want to repeat that for the other side. A great way to add a little more decoration to a box is with washi tape. Do you recognize my washi tape box? I took one of the old Love With Food boxes and I decorated it and I use it to store my washi tape. So keep those boxes and find something else to use them for. They are fantastic. I'm going to take a couple different shades of green washi and just wrap it around the edges. Now if you don't like this, you don't have to do it. I know it is kind of um, a modern grunge look, so do whatever you like. You could do even a one nice neat strip all the way around or omit it completely. It's all about what you want for your project. I wanted to add a 3D element to my favor box here, so I die cut a couple flowers and leaves out of cardstock. And these are dies from, um, the flowers are from Quilled Creations, I believe, and the, the leaves are from Doris. And what you do with these dies is you simply just roll them up into a spiral. If you don't have these dies, you can cut a spiral out of cardstock with your scissors. Decorative scissors would be great for this, and then just roll it up. I mean, that's how these die companies came up with the ideas to make these flower dies. So, Absolutely, you don't have to go out and buy everything I'm using here. You can go ahead and do it yourself. All you need is a little drop of glue on that center of the spiral, and then just press the uh, rolled up bit into that glue. Make sure that it catches all of the uh, kind of ridges of the spiral flower there. But go ahead and try it with your scissors because it works just as well. 
Now we want to put a couple leaves on the uh, on the fry box too. So I'm just going to put a dollop of glue and you could use a glue dot if you don't feel like using the hot glue at this point. And just stick a couple leaves in where you think it looks nice. Leaves are a really versatile shape so I think it's a great idea to have uh, die cuts in those um, really often use common designs because they're not going to go out of style. Then just put your flower on top and you have a beautifully embellished box. Now the theme of the February Love with Food box was Mardi Gras and they sent these really cool sparkly green plastic beads in the monthly kit. So I'm simply going to snip the beads so I have one long strand and I'm going to add it as an embellishment along the edge of my box. Now what you need to do is use hot glue or you could probably use the glue lines that come in a strip from the Glue Dots company. But you want to make a really fine line of glue along the edge of the box and you just want to do one edge at a time so I'm just doing the side and then very gently you want to pick up the beads and press them in and you want to start the end of your beads at an edge or a corner so it'll look a little bit neater as you finish it up so just keep on going around the box gently adding your glue very carefully you don't want to have it drip and fall in your hands and just press the beads in as you go a low temperature hot glue gun will work fine for this project and it'll lessen the chance that you burn yourself as you go around with the beads and the glue because your fingers are pretty close to the glue. When you get to the end, you can simply use your scissors to snip the beads right where you need it and you can save the rest of the beads for another project. Now it's time to fill our box with the goodies from our Love With Food kit. Now some of these bags of treats are too big to put in our fry box, like these olive oil chips, which I think I'll save because they're pretty delicious. I'm going to put in this food bar here. Those are excellent to give to somebody. These little lemon wafers. Any of the larger items you want to put in first because it's going to be easier to fit in the smaller little chocolates and stuff afterwards. So remember that from science class? You put the big things in the jar first, then the small things. Same idea here and then just keep filling it up and it's so nice to share treats that are healthy with people from a company that does so many things to help other people in our community. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you do and if you want to find out more information about our sponsor Love With Food, please check out the link in the video description. They have some really fun deals for you including $10 off your Love With Food subscription or your first box free. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.